developing data-bound applications, there may be cases where you would need to manually hide specific nodes of the treeless control at runtime. Fortunately, with the extra treeless control, it's just a matter of setting a property and adding a few lines of code. So let's get started. I'll start with a new WinForms application. From the toolbox, I drag and drop a treeless control onto the form. I dock it to fill the entire client area. I open the control smart tag and invoke the data source configuration wizard. I leave the data source type as database and click next. I'll use an existing connection string for the departments.mdb access database. I click next and select the departments table that will supply data to the tree list. And I click finish to complete the wizard. Since I don't need to display the parent ID and image index columns for this demo, I'll click and drag them out of the tree list to remove them. I select the tree list and make sure that its key field name and parent field name properties are set correctly. And I'm done. I run the application to demonstrate the default behavior. I expand the tree nodes. For the purposes of this example, I'm going to hide all the nodes that have a budget value of less than 100,000. I close the application and return to Visual Studio. Now I need to handle the filter node event of the tree list control. First, I'm going to create a reference to the devexpress.extratreelist namespace. The filter node event is fired as each node is created at runtime and can be used to hide specific nodes or make particular nodes visible again. The currently processed node is identified by the events node parameter. So using an if statement, I check to see if the node being processed has a budget column value of less than 100,000. If so, I'll set the node's visible property to false so that it's not displayed at runtime. Additionally, I'll set the event's handled property to true, so no default processing occurs for this event. I run the application. I expand the nodes, and to my surprise, the nodes with less than 100,000 in budgets are still showing up. Our code is correct, but the filter node event is not being raised to begin with. I close the application and return to Visual Studio. I switch to Design View. I select the treeless control and set its options behavior .enable filtering property to true. This will raise the filter node event for each node as it's drawn. And that's it. I run the application to see the results. I expand the nodes, and now you can see that the nodes with budget values of less than 100,000 are no longer visible. For more information, please refer to the extra tree list documentation. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.